Hey people, it's me again. So, anyways, it's one of the things that I heard from Mundane Man's channel, but also on the Tomo News where they were selling uh, raw water, which is basically unfiltered, unfluoridated as far as that goes, which is completely ridiculous if you ask me, and it has all this nasty sediments and whatever it is there you know and then the people that are just only buying that are those hipsters because they think filtered water is too mainstream Ugh, god i just hope that as far as that goes when when uh my brother comes down to visit from portland and he doesn't like buy any of that stuff, you know, because of that, you know, it's, it's one thing there, to be that, although my brother could be a little bit of a hipster, but not necessarily totally, completely into the hipsterdom, where, where once everything becomes mainstream, he kind of abandons it, or something like that, that sort of stuff, you know. But then, in a way, as I stated before, you know, I was probably a little bit of a hipster kind of thing when when I was into Our Lady Peace before it gotten popular here in America, as far as I goes. Even though they were already, like, popular in their home country of Canada. But they were never really that quite popular here in America until um, 15 years ago. 15 or 16 years ago, you know, with the song Somewhere Out There and Innocent, you know, as far as that goes, and also liking, um, what's that group again, uh, Evermore, before they got really popular with that song It's Too Late, you know, but that's like the, their only hit here in the U.S. was like, It's Too Late. And then, um, I think maybe a couple of other groups there, but, but that was just one example of me kind of being a bit of a hipster in a way, you know, but then again, the other example is like me kind of wearing these kind of shirts like this, you know, which is kind of a bit of a, a hipster kind of thing wearing a custom tee like that, you know, but. I mean, that's just kind of one example of such things, but then again, it's just another one of those passing fads like that, you know, like diet water or pet rock or whatever it is, you know, that sort of thing, you know, these kind of stupid little fads like that, you know. But then again, I did kind of participate in certain fads like that at that point, you know. I mean, back in the 90s, I think I had a slap bracelet, but that was, uh... Back when I finished uh, sixth grade, I think I had a slap bracelet. I don't even know where it ever happened to that one is. You know, I mean, I don't even know where that is anymore, you know. And then the other little trend that was there was the, the Chinese yo-yos. They were, like, popular back around when I was in fifth and sixth grade. You know, that was back around... 91, 92, and 93. And then it was also Chinese jump rope. That sort of thing. And then, um... Maybe like also Chinese handball or something. Yeah, that was another one that we also did. And then I think I remember, um... Uh, also the hyper-colored shirts. And they were, like, popular right around the time of fifth grade. Not only those hyper colored shirts, but they were like these other kind of shirts that you can write on, you know, that sort of thing. <laughs> that sort of stuff there. But I think those hyper color shirts was also came a also became a comeback thing there too. And it was um I forgot what those pants were called, the zoomies or whatever they were called. But those those pants that had those weird prints on it, you know, like where they had the camo prints or cheetah prints or something like that, you know. 
that were popular back in the, the mid 90s or something like that, you know. And not only that, Tomagachi and stuff like that, you know. But basically, what I'm saying is that a lot of these types of things, they just become popular for a while and they just fizzled out, you know. It's just like what I said before about other things, like such people on YouTube and all that, but you know. That's one of those little things. So, anyways, I guess that's like my two cents of those kind of things there. So, anyways, talk to you guys later.